Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. Hope you're doing well today. In this video, we're gonna compare the Plantronics Savvy 8220 wireless headset against the Jabra Pro 9450 Duo. And the quick disclaimer here, this is a discontinued headset. It's been replaced by the Jabra Engage 65 and 75, and you can check out the, those comparisons on uh, our channel, so check it out there. But you may want to consider, if you already have the 9450 Duo, if it's worth the upgrade to the Plantronics Savvy 8220, or maybe you uh, still think the quality is good enough and you wanna buy this in certified refurbished, it is still available and a significantly less price. So it may still be worth the comparison here. All right, and in this video, we are going to compare the microphones and also the speakers so you can hear for yourself what you think of the sound quality and how much noise is being canceled. We even have a decibel reader over here that's gonna show us how much uh, sound is coming out of the speakers and also how much noise is going on in the background to make it even more interesting. All right, so let's get started. So we're going to start with the specs side by side so you can see the, the differences between the two. So starting out with weight, the Plantronics is heavier at 5.6 ounces versus the 9450 Duo at 2.5 ounces. Comfort level is good for both of them, uh, albeit the 9450 is lighter, so it's probably gonna be more comfortable for all day use. They both have noise canceling microphones. They both utilize DECT 6.0 to communicate from the charging base to the headset. But the Plantronics has Bluetooth also built into the charging base, so you can get your mobile phones, your desk phones, and your computers all in one charging base. Where the Jabra does not connect to mobile phones, it has the desk phone connection and the computer connection only. They, uh, the Plantronics rates it at 590 feet of wireless range and Jabra says 490 feet. However, in my experience, about 150 to 200 feet is the max range that you'll get in a typical office environment. They both have one year warranty. MSRP of the Plantronics is $459.99, and the 9450 Duo was $375, but again, it's been discontinued, replaced by the Jabra Engage 65 and 75, but also available for certified refurbished for around $150. I'll put a link to both of these products in the product description below, or the video description. Sound quality is going to be a slightly better on the Plantronics because it's newer, has those larger uh, speakers versus the Jobber Pro 9450, which is a little bit less. And they both have replaceable batteries. And then one huge factor about the 8220 is that it has active noise canceling feature. It's the only one on the market right now that's able to connect to a desk phone that actually has that feature. So it really allows you to focus in on your phone calls and block out all that background noise. All right, now let's just take a quick look at these headsets side by side here. And as you can see, uh, the Jabra is definitely smaller out of the two, which isn't a bad thing, but it is also lighter, which means you might sacrifice some audio quality, which we're gonna experience here for ourselves. Plantronics has these nice, large leather ear cushions that feel super plush and really nice. You can adjust the headband very easily. It has a nice, solid feel to the headband adjustment. And of course, you have this leather resting strap that just makes it even more comfortable. The Jabra also has an adjustable headband. It's a little, it feels like a little bit more friction and not going into position as easily as the Plantronics, but it's just a easy um, design. One thing about the cushions is they don't feel plush and you can actually feel the plastic um, inside rather than just the leather cushion. So it feels a little uncomfortable to me, but it has that noise canceling microphone boom that is adjustable slightly when you need to position it properly. So there's that. Now let's get to the fun stuff. If I can get this back in the charging base. 
let's get to the fun stuff and test these microphones. So we're gonna hook them up to the computer so that you can hear them for yourself. Okay, now my voice is coming through the Jabra. As you see, I'm tapping on the microphone there. And you wanna just be able to listen to my voice loud and clear without cutting in and out. And of course, you want good sound quality. So I'm gonna keep speaking here for a second, then I'm gonna quickly switch over to the Plantronics headset so you can hear what that sounds like. All right, testing one, two, three. All right, now this is the Plantronics headset and what it sounds like, testing one, two, three, and you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear without distortion and of course of good quality. So what I'm gonna do next is we're going to test with noise canceling or with some noise in the background so you can see how much decibel reading is in this room. Okay, now this is Jabra with background noise, office ambient background noise in the background and you can hear some um, sound typing, some people talking, a typical office environment. That's what it sounds like. And then you have this decibel reader here so you can see how loud it is. And then I'll be quiet for just a second and then we'll quickly switch over to the Plantronics. Oh, helps if I actually have this turned on. All right, now this is the Plantronics 8220 with background noise going on in the background. And we have the decibel reader here. So I'll be quiet for just a second so you can hear how much noise is being canceled. All right, there you go. All right, so there is the microphone test of both these headsets. Which one do you think sounded better, the Jabra? or the Plantronics. I'd be curious to get your feedback. Put it in the uh, comment section below. And then what we're gonna do next is we're going to test the speakers. We're gonna put a microphone up to each of the speakers and read uh, and let you hear what they sound like with the same song side by side. So that is going to be fun. Now before we do that, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Also, if you are looking for a headset and you're not sure which one's best for your situation, there's so many headsets from all these different brands, hundreds and hundreds of options. That's what we do every day, provide a free headset recommendation. We'll match you with the best headset for your specific situation, like uh, Polycom phones, Yealink phones, that type of thing. Uh, I'll put our contact information below in the video description, as well as a link to our website. We have live chat, email, however you wanna contact us we can help you out. All right, let's get to the speaker test. All right, so we're gonna test the, the speaker of the 8220. So I'm just gonna put the uh, microphone here that you see up to the speaker. And then you can also see how much noise is coming out of the speakers with this decibel reader here. So let's get started. Jeff, go ahead and launch the music. So there you have the speaker test. What, what did you think of both of these speakers? Was the Plantronics better or was the Jobber better for your, your personal preference? Put it in the comment section below. Would love to hear what you think about it. Other than that, these are two great headsets. Uh, again, the 9450 Duo is discontinued, replaced with the Jobber Engage 6575, but it's still uh, been one of their most popular wireless headsets and it's still worth considering buying today in that certified refurbished. Again, I'll have a link to both these products in the video description below. 
you have the very simplistic buttons which makes it actually nice whereas they had the 9460 9470 they had a touch screen it was a little bit clunky and not as easy to operate whereas having a physical button is super convenient and nice and of course you can adjust the settings on both of these headsets through their software Jabra Direct for the Jabra and also Plantronics Hub for the Plantronics. You can adjust the sound, the ringer, you know, all sorts of stuff through the settings, which is cool. Now, uh, both of these headsets are great for what they do. They allow you to use one headset for most of your communication needs. But the one thing that uh, I would say about the Jabra is that music sound quality isn't gonna be that great. The speakers just aren't really designed for music. Whereas the 8220 is designed more for music. However, it's probably uh, significantly less than some of the other options on just like music audio quality. The 8220 is really designed for an office environment, on the phone a lot, you're not really listening to music a lot, but it has that active noise canceling feature so you can really zone in on your phone calls, your Zoom meetings, uh, Maybe you listen to some podcasts, you can focus in on that and not hear all the office chatter going on around you. I just recently did a review of the most expensive wireless headsets from these brands, and I'll put a link in this video up there or also in the video description below, just so you can check that out for yourself in case you're interested in something with a little bit uh, you know, better audio quality for music. All right. Well, that's all I have for you on this video. Again, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and if you need help finding the perfect headset for your situation, for your company, you know who to call. Well, that's all I got. We'll see you next time.